Now we're going to do a one-handed tie under tension using a slip knot. As you've seen when we were doing one-handed ties, it's very difficult to do, to do a surgeon's knot, to do two throws. So if you have something under tension, as I'm setting up here, as you can see, I have the purple strand and the white, the white strand. I'm going to cross over just like I do every time where the hand that's doing the work is distal. So here we go. Let's do a one-handed tie. We'll review what we do. Again, pistol, hook the barrels, bring it to the center, make your cross, slide your thumb down, push it out, hook, hook with the forefinger, then pinch with the third digit or the middle finger, and then pronate out. Here we go. We bring it down. Now, how do we create the slip knot? we do the exact same throw. So we don't do the perfect sign and supinate. We just pistol grip hook again and do exactly what we did again. And as you can see, we have the cross here. This is gonna create your slip knot. So push out, hook through, bring it down, and then hold this up. If you hold it up flat, you see how this slides right on down on it. This is a slip knot. So if I do this several times, you can see how I'm doing the same throw every time. And this, the purple strand is sliding, slipping down on the white strand, creating the slip knot. If I continue this, this will become, become unraveled unless I lock it. You see how it's sliding down? That's a slip knot. So how do I lock it? I've got to do a throw uh, with the opposite maneuver. So then you want to supinate with your second and third digit within there, or third and fourth digit, excuse me, within there. And then you grab your strand like you do normally, and then you cross over to lock it. And that'll lock it so these won't slip off. And then you can go back and forth like you are with your square knots, and that'll prevent it from slipping. But as you can see, the area where it slips, it's a roll, it's nice, lined up. That's, that's a sign right here of a slip. Now we're going to do a one-handed tie under tension using a slip knot using silk suture. So I'm going to set ourselves up here. So we're going to try to take these two strands that are under tension and putting, bring them together. Set myself up. I set it up so the hand that's going to be doing the tying, which in this case is going to be my right hand, is that cross is distal. And then you just, then we'll go ahead and do a one-handed tie like we've discussed. So pistol grip both, bring that right hand up to the middle, make the cross, slide the thumb down between the forefinger and that strand, push it out, flex your forefinger, hook the strand between the thumb and where the cross is, bring that second finger in to pinch with the forefinger, pronate out. Now we bring it down, and now we're flat. But this is loose, see how it pops out? So we want to make it tight. So how do we do that? What we do is we do the exact same throw again. So how do we do that? Instead of supinating, we're going to just do pistol grip again for both. Bring it to the midline again, just like we did. Push it out with the thumb, hook it again, catch it. Oh, made a mistake here, but that's okay. Push it out, catch it, and now we're going to keep the, the strand that uh, on the non-dominant hand up in the air, and that allows you to slide it down, slip it down, and this will tighten. See how it tightens? So if I keep on throwing this exact same throw, it's just going to be tightened. If I don't lock it, what happens is if you take your suture and you hook underneath here, it's going to slip. See how it's slipping? So that's the sign of a slip knot. And watch what happens here. It comes undone. It just slipped right out because these weren't locked. So you have to be careful with a slip knot. You have to lock it. So how do we do that? Well, let's take another strand and show you how to do that. So here I am setting up one-handed, pistol grip, make the cross, slip the thumb down there, push it out, hook, bring it through, lay it down, 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my finger to kind of set it up right. Do it again. This is your slip. It's gonna slip right on down. It's tight. Now, I wanna lock this. So how do I lock it? Well then, I go and do a square throw the way I know how to do it, which is to supinate, perfect sign, supinate, bring the, the third and fourth digits through there, make your cross, flex, get that thumb between the perfect sign and the cross, pinch it together, uh, the uh, middle finger and the ring finger, and then pronate out, and then you cross, just like you normally do to lock it. And then you can go ahead and do your alternating now with squares. Now if you want to throw some slips, you can just throw the same one. If you want to throw a slip this way, you throw it in the same direction and that'll, be, that'll give you a slip.